I just want to start out by saying I've just dyed and had my hair cut so that is why my fringe is so incredibly straight right now. So in today's video I thought I would put to the test my most expensive palette that I own which is my gingerbread spice gingerbread yeah that's what it's called gingerbread spiced palette spice not spiced palette by Too Faced um that I did a video on um, might, I'm saying not long ago but it might have been I can't remember and I would compare it to my revolution life on the dance floor after party palette which has similar shades in it it's not a dupe but it's not been advertised as a dupe and it's not identical but I thought I would compare this one is £10 and I believe it's reduced to 5 at the moment and this one I should have researched this before okay this one is $49 so I'm, I'm guessing it's about £40 but it is the most expensive palette that I own um I never really bought many expensive palettes or higher end palettes because I didn't see the point but when I bought it I was like okay I understand now I understand why people are spending all this money because it's amazing um so I thought I would do a side-by-side -side look try and make them similar and see which one looks better or which one I get on with better I'm guessing it's gonna be this one as this is a very budget friendly palette but I just thought it'd be fun to do and it gives me excuse to play with my makeup too. And that's where you can see where I've just dyed my hair because I've got all the black arms around because I'm incapable of just keeping it on my hair. Oh my god, my fringe went straight to the back. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with like um, my concealer, primer, foundation. I'm not gonna go through that whole process because I'm using the products I use most of the time and I don't want this video to be super long. Okay, so I've done my foundation, my base. Um, now I'm gonna get right into it with my eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do them at the same time. That's it. So for the base shadow, I'm going to use, um, I've got it all written down, Gingerbread Latte, um, which is this one here, I believe. Yes. Um, then let's get to it. Right, done that side and now I'm going to use which shade similar in this one I'm going to use this one this palette doesn't have shade names but I'm going to use this one out of this palette I'm going to use the same brush this one's not as orangey as the other one and you can quite clearly see that this one is a bit browner this one's got more of an orange tone to it and this one is not as pigmented you know what well, it's not bad this one just took a little bit more eyeshadow than this one did but it was just as easy well not just as easy to blend in it's come out quite nice i didn't expect the shades to be identical because obviously it's not a dupe or anything okay now for my crease i'm going to use gingerbread which is just a darker shade of brown at the top here and i'm going to pop that in my crease see the fallout in this palette isn't as much as a fallout in this palette. This the Revolution palette's a bit more powdery. Stop my brush, and now I'm gonna go for the darker shade in this one, which is similar to the gingerbread one. And pop that in my crease too. Same brush. See more fallout in this one. I'm done. I'm not gonna lie, so far I'm quite impressed with the Revolution one. I mean, apart from how powdery it is and the fact that I need a little bit more makeup, I'm not really unimpressed. I don't know where it's going. Okay, I'm just gonna blend it all together at the moment on each side. This one's definitely a bit more difficult to blend than this one. Okay, now for like the corners, I'm gonna use a darker shade. So I'm gonna go for my reindeer paws one in here. I'll tell you what though, this one smells delicious. Okay, wipe my brush off. 
and go into this one, which one's the one that it pours. Okay, then I'm going to use the darker brown in this palette as well. quiet they can't be quiet they're just half an hour on my life film <laughs> right the pigment in the darker shade is a lot less than Too Faced one it's taking me a lot more to get it to actually look how I want it to look definitely does not look as nice and blend and as nice and blended as it does this side that's for sure Okay, I'm definitely preferring this eye now. Applying the dark to this one was a lot more difficult than it was this side. This side it went on really easily and blended out great. This side I had to put quite a lot on for it to show up. And because I put so much on it's been really difficult to blend out. Ah, you can't really see it. I've had to blend it so much. I prefer this eye now to this eye. Damn it. Okay, and now for like the glittery bit in the middle row speech technical terms i'm going to use warm and toasty which is a lovely gold shade i'm just gonna dab it on in there and then i'm gonna do the other side with which you know with this gold shade which has more of a yellow tone to it than the two-faced one but we'll see just dab it in, in there dab it in, in there Okay, and now I'm just going to tidy up my eyes a bit because I always manage to make one hell of a mess. I'm going to put some mascara on and do my eyebrows and my cheeks and highlight and stuff and report back in a minute. My new favourite highlighter at the moment. The Zoella Colourpop one. I've put far too much blush on. <laughs> I look like a clown in the in the camera too. Okay, I'm gonna try and fix the blush disaster. Oh yes, much better. Feel a bit clowny like with that amount of blush on to be honest with you. But anyway. Okay. So this is the Too Faced um eye and i kind of prefer it to this one i'm gonna be honest i love makeup revolution or revolution or revolution beauty or whatever they're called now and i think for well 10 pounds which is what this palette costs it's an all right palette if you're looking for something budget friendly revolution is the way to go however when you compare it to Too Faced because I always thought what's the point they're going to be exactly the same what's the point of spending £40 on this this blended so much better the pigment in it is amazing and it just looks better on my eye and for someone who can't blend for shit because as you can see I'm not great at blending this is definitely if I'm looking for something easy to do I'm going to reach for my, my um, Too Faced palette that said most of my palettes are Revolution ones because they have some great palettes for under £10. I mean, what more could you want? Budget friendly, it's great. If you're looking for something higher end, Too Faced are great. Comparing them, Too Faced is better. I can see why people would spend more on them. I know a lot of the time I used to say this, oh, it's just the name, it's not actually better than it is. It is a better product than the cheaper one. Um, that's just that is just my personal opinion i am no professional i just tried it out and as someone who can't really do makeup that well that's what i think anyway i think i managed to keep that video pretty short i don't know let's not jinx it it stopped filming at some point so i don't know what part of the video you'll be missing if you want to see me try out the zoella and colourpop range check out my last video that's what this lipstick is i freaking love it I've been using it every day since I bought it. So uh, if you're not a subscribe, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I have been posting a new video every week lately, which is impressive. 
I also have a blog if you want to head on over there. There's a new paste. Paste. What is wrong with me today? It's a new post every Sunday at half five. Um, and give it a like or thumbs up or whatever you want to call it. And I will see you soon with another new video. Let me know in the comments what palettes are your favourite because I really want to try some more. And as far as it goes with branching out, I've got NYX, 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 I don't know how they're pronounced, Too Faced and Revolution. I think they're the only palettes that I have at the moment. So I'd love to try some other brands. So let me know what you'd recommend in the comments. And I'll see you soon. Bye.